we made a decision because of the level of congregation within our beaches and pools that we would close that for the summer. I think we can all agree that summer is the season many Minnesotans live for. No. But as we inch closer to days spent outside and warmer weather, the uncertainty surrounding the spread of COVID-19 will potentially change summer as we know it. Right now, leaders in several cities across the metro are laying out restrictions when it comes to overpopulating certain facilities during the summer months. Like in Minneapolis, the Park and Rec Board will close all 12 beaches and 60 swimming pools. It's a decision they're basing off data. And when we look at the curve right now that was kind of explained by the governor's office, the curve really goes into the middle of July or the beginning of July. It's a 14 week period. Taking that into consideration, Park Superintendent Al Bagura wants to make one thing clear. We're not closing parks, our playgrounds, our basketball courts, our fields are open. He says it's all about individual spacing. So people can go out there and enjoy our lakes as they typically do. They can be fishing off our piers, uh, they can be paddle boarding. You know, there's different things they can do on our lakes. And so that that's not closed. South of the metro in Bloomington, leaders will have park supervisors out every day from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. promoting safe habits. In order to maintain safety and continue to help flatten the curve, we want to be out there in the parks actively monitoring and keeping things safe. And in St. Paul, certain roads around parks are now blocked off to give park goers extra space to practice social distancing. You go to Arlington where they closed it, nobody was on the road. We walked the whole time and nobody else. Yeah, they're all clumped on the sidewalk and the roads all blocked off. No, come on. When it comes to flattening the curve, city leaders say it's a shared responsibility and Minnesotans agree. We want to get yeah. through this and uh, yeah. do our part in just keeping everybody safe. And Those people yeah. are dying. Yeah. So if that means changing up the way we do summers around here in order to save lives, oh, yeah, well, we're in this together. In Minneapolis, Devon Roming, Care 11 News.